One among the 31 NITs in India established under the NIT Act 2007, amended in 2012, of the Parliament of India as institutes of national importance with full funding support from the Ministry of Education, Shiksha Mantralaya, Government of India. This is the National Institute of Technology, Meghalaya. NIT Meghalaya boasts of exceptional teaching, learning and research credentials. The institute was ranked 59th among 3,000 odd engineering institutions under the National Institutional Ranking Framework NIRF in 2021. NIT Meghalaya is now ranked 14th among all the 31 NITs in the country and first among all newly set up NITs functioning since 2010. The National Institute of Technology Meghalaya was established uh, by virtue of an Act of Parliament in the year 2010. For the first two years, um, it was mentored by NIT Surat in Gujarat. In 2012, NIT functioned from Ceylon. We have uh, travelled uh, hardly 10 years, but our name and fame has been known to all the good institutes in the country and abroad. The institute was also conferred as the best institute in Northeast 2021 by the Centre for Education, Growth and Research. So these are all possible because of the concerted efforts that have been put in by different stakeholders of the institute. We work together, we make things transparent to every stakeholder out here. And together we travel towards our goal, our students, our alumni, our faculty, our staff, everybody puts uh, his 100% and everybody is committed to do his best at the workplace. And that is what has brought us to this position today. The vision is to develop NIT as an institution vibrant with academic activities and bubbling with youthful creative energy, making significant contribution to the world of knowledge and technology and to the development of the state, the region and the nation. The institute currently offers a BTEC program in five disciplines, MTech in five specializations, MSc in the three streams, and PhD program in various engineering, science disciplines, and humanities. Various facilities are provided by the institute that are convenient to the students and employees. Academic section mainly focuses on the academic related activities and uh, they provide the facilities like how the students can continue their study as well as research. And particularly we have one uh, senate also which uh, generally focuses on the academic ordinance. And uh, taking that academic ordinance, the academic section follows and our students also get the all the ideas what are the different schemes available for uh, carrying out the uh, research as well as the study and uh, we provide the utmost facility to both the faculties and uh, students so that they should not face any kind of uh, difficulties during uh, any uh, higher study or uh, research activity. NIT Meghalaya also renders a platform to students and faculty members to strengthen the research aptitude through various events in sports, cultural and technical conducted from time to time. The Dean Faculty Welfare uh, is the office that looks into all sorts of uh, welfare issues with respect to the faculty of NIT Meghalaya. We start with the recruitment of uh, the best talents uh, from India as well as abroad and once the faculty are here we 
work for their overall uh, welfare. We uh, try to get them the best of facilities in terms of academics. Uh, we also uh, take steps to look after their overall social well-being, their mental health, their physical health, and also uh, uh, activities that lead to a very cheerful kind of environment of uh, environment that is conducive to research for high academic achievements and so that we can give the best output to our students, to the state and to the region. A thorough tour into its various departments will give an insight of the wavelength that stretches in the course of providing the best lessons and profound knowledge to the students. This is the Computer Assisted Language Laboratory. It has been an integral part of the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences HS Department since 2012. The lab has a network of PCs that are interconnected. It helps the engineering students of the institute hone their language and communicative skills. The Department of Physics was established in 2010. The department has actively imparted education to the students of BTEC. It has also started MSc program from 2015-2016 session with special emphasis on the applied aspects of physics. The PhD program in the department is successfully running in the areas of condensed matter physics, applied optics, nuclear and particle physics. The existing instruments in the Department of Physics are differential scanning calorimetry, UV VIS spectrometer, impedance analyzer, fume hood, high temperature furnace, polarizing microscope, etc. The Department of Mathematics started functioning in June 2012. Currently, the department offers two years MSc and PhD programs. In addition, the department plays an important role as a supporting department to various BTEC, MTEC and PhD programs of the Institute. The main objective of the department is to attract students of science and engineering and to provide for them academically coherent programs with courses that range from the fundamental to the advanced. It has a FIST-sponsored mathematics laboratory with computers and workstation equipped with software such as MATLAB, Mathematica, etc. to facilitate faculty, students for their research and laboratory-oriented courses. The instrument laboratory of the chemistry department has a range of instrument facilities to carry out various material characterization. Thermal characterization of materials can be carried out by differential scanning calorimetry and thermal microscopy. Spectroscopy characterization can be carried out using FTIR, UVVIS and fluorescent spectrometer. An electrochemical workstation can carry out electrochemical studies. A planetary ball mill grinder is also present in the laboratory to synthesize nanomaterials, amorphization of materials and solid-state non-covalent or covalent synthesis. As the Institute of Higher Education, research is a very important component of our academic activities. Some of the important areas of our research are artificial intelligence, Internet of Things and its applications, machine learning and smart materials. Our faculty members have secured more than 80 sponsored research projects from different organizations. Some of them are internationally collaborative research projects. In addition, we are providing various consultancy services to different organizations like Indian Navy, Indian Air Force, uh, Indian Army, CPWD, NIPCO, etc. The Department of Humanities and Social Sciences has been an integral part of the Institute since its inception in 2010. The Department's main objective is the holistic and all-round development of the technical graduates into socially responsible individuals. The Department is infusing the concept of technology for the greater good of mankind and society as a whole, so that the students will not only excel in technical expertise, but also inculcate among themselves excellence in communication, refinement of reasoning, openness to new ideas, and a commitment to social values and ethical behaviour.
Internal Quality Assurance Committee is conceived as a mechanism to build and ensure a quality culture at the institutional level. The objective of the IQAC is to make planning, guiding and monitoring the quality assurance and quality enhancement activities of the institute. One of the main objectives of the IQAC is to develop a quality system for conscious, consistent and catalytic programmed action to improve the academic and administrative performance of the of institute. And since I am also looking after the vigilance office of the institute as a chief vigilance officer, my main function is to maintain a regular and continuous uh, coordination between the institute and central vigilance commission and other allied agencies of the government for smooth functioning of the administration and other uh, systems. In the quest to make quality higher education accessible to the masses, Center for Technology Enabled Learning or the CTEL has been set up at NIT Meghalaya to create and manage a rich pool of digital resources and utilize them for effective teaching and learning and to provide quality education within and outside the institute. A state-of-art video recording studio has been set up at CTEL which is equipped with advanced electronic recording system. This recording facility is being used for developing technically high-quality video lectures and course contents by the faculty members of the institute and eminent experts from other organizations. Faculty members of various departments at NIT Meghalaya have recorded around 835 hours of lectures till date using the CTEL recording facility. The Center for Robotics and Mechatronics started in the year 2019 with the faculty member from various departments like Mechanical Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering and Computer Science Engineering. The aim of the center is to enhance creative and innovative aspects in the field of robotics and mechatronics to translate robotics in daily life with moral and ethical standard and also to implement mechatronic systems in various fields to improve standard of socio-economic status. The Department of Civil Engineering has been in existence since July 2012. With an intake capacity of 30 students, the department offers a four-year, that is eight-semester, B.Tech program in civil engineering discipline. The department has initiated its Ph.D. program since 2014 in various areas of civil engineering, namely environmental engineering, structural engineering, water resources engineering and geotechnical engineering. Since July 2018, the department has been offering a two-year, that is four-semester, M.Tech program in structural engineering. It actively encourages curriculum development activities by the creation of new courses and upgradation of existing courses. I have been assigned the responsibility of managing the affairs of the students very smoothly and to protein the welfare of the students in different segments. The very philosophy of NIT Meghalaya is to organize and conduct the student activities in such a manner so that the students will feel homely like environment at the institute and a very cordial relation with the faculty and staff so that the homesickness of their respective homes will be not in the mind of the students. And this very second aspect of conducting the student activities that it will create impact on the student's life and their professions. Another important part of NIT Meghalaya is the computer center. It caters to all the departments, centers and sections by providing internet and computing resources. The wide networking of this center consists of a high bandwidth fiber optic backbone that connects all the corners of the institute. The institute data network is also extended to the hostels through the 1 gigabyte per second fiber optic backbone provided by the National Knowledge Network. 
at NIT Meghalaya, securing internal network devices, computers, smartphones from malicious or unnecessary network traffic from outside is a main concern. Hence, a high-end security universal threat management device that is Sophos XG550 has been installed to protect the overall network resources from any unprecedented cyber threats. The center also maintains the institute website ERP software and caters to any IT-related issues faced by any staff, faculty, students alike. This office is primarily engaged into the activities related to Board of Governors meetings, Finance Committee meetings, activities related to Establishment and Administration section, Finance and Account section, Procurement of Goods and Services, Internal Audit of the accounts activities or the allied activities related to academics. The office also assists in conduct of Senate meeting as well as buildings and works committee meeting. There are 68 regular faculty members and 54 non-faculty members. So the office is catering to extending the administrative and financial support for the betterment of the institute. Currently, NIT Meghalaya operates from a temporary campus in Shillong. Its permanent campus is under development at Cherupanji. The campus will come up with state-of-the-art infrastructures and all the necessary modern amenities while maintaining harmony with the serene environment of Cherupanji. Although we are in a temporary campus, we are trying to provide the best facilities to the stakeholders of the institute as far as possible. The engineering section which I am heading is a small department of the institute which comprises of the executive engineer, the junior engineer, both civil and electrical, and the outsource personnel. The engineering section is looking after the planning and development of the campus, both here in a temporary campus as well as the permanent campus there at Sora. The construction of the permanent campus started way back in 2013 and it is going on at present. The permanent campus has its best facilities to make homely to all the students, staff, faculties and feel a best study and research environment in the campus. The institute and the faculty have already established collaborations with various universities abroad. The aim is to build NIT to a center of excellence in education and research in the fields of engineering, science and technology. With all our continued efforts and developing this institute to a center of learning and research, I'd like to see this institute within first 10 amongst the engineering institutes in the country in future. And I'm very, very hopeful. Once we shift to our permanent campus, we get rid of the constraints that we are facing over here in the temporary campus. We shall do a lot more uh, things and develop our activities and put an indelible mark on the minds of the people of the country.